Now you can... Uh, Just posted it, guys. It's right there. That's our Skype ID. The Level Up show spelled exactly how it sounds. Call in. Like Mike was saying, we, we think there's some potentially cool benefits to this, and uh, I think a lot of you might have some cool ideas for it. Or if you, if you want to bet about it, go ahead. I know a lot of people are disappointed in it, but we want to know why. We don't want it to just be a question. I just wanted to say that the people who were asking this in my bird cage, that, that is for the wedding. Yes. I really like that bird cage. She did a great job. Yeah. And I even got a blister, but I guess it was worth it. The second Andrew told me, you're going to burn your finger, I said, no, I'm not, and, and then I you burned, burned it. it two seconds later. Like a second later. Welcome, you're getting she. Dutch Godzilla. People post dumb shit on Facebook and politicians post racist stuff on Twitter. Okay. That happens everywhere. Was that you? Uh, how are you guys doing today? A wild game appears. I'm so confused right now. That was perfect. Did that come from your end or my end? That came from my end. Okay, I'm so glad. Well, that is a, the best entrance to a call. Oh, no. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> I love it. That was awesome, man. So uh, what is your opinion on Facebook acquiring Oculus? Well, I'm not really like so so much like worried about it because I'm not really into it, but I can see like the Oculus so much. I am looking forward to whatever Project Morpheus turns into, but Okay. Facebook is kind of like in a weird spot as a company. Like they've lost a lot of people recently, like especially in like our age group. A lot of people have switched over to Twitter and Instagram and whatnot, so I kind of am not sure if that's like them just grasping at straws, trying to still, you know, stay in mainstream and whatever, but like that, that, that would freak me out if a company was doing that, and I can see how a lot of the fans would get weirded out about that. This wasn't the first big acquisition they did. They just bought WhatsApp for like $19 billion. Like, no lie, I'm not even joking right now. Like $19 billion for WhatsApp. So they had money to throw away. I, I, I Like you said, yeah, they are hitting a little bit of a difficult time right now they are losing users but i think that was just what was going to happen eventually twitter was going to kind of take some people and i don't know, linkedin is going to take some people i guess i don't know there's other ones out there too but uh, you might be right yeah maybe this is them entering into something that uh, they never thought they would before but it might really take off for them and that's why they're taking a shot at it yeah, which I actually think that, like, as a company, that's cool for them to do. But I can see how that could actually make people nervous as well if they look at it from that aspect or are really into the Oculus. Now, yeah, are you at all fearful of what it could do to affect Oculus's development as far as a games device? No, I actually think they'll uh, they'll do fairly well. Um, I'm sure there's going to be, like, in the next week, people are going to start signing on that are some pretty solid names, and then people will start, start getting behind it a little bit more, probably. Yeah, because Facebook's a big name, and, and even if you don't believe it really helps out towards the gaming side of things, they, they now have a backing from a mon monetary perspective that could really improve the device and uh, the development of it. So it could bring a lot of people on board and really to benefit it in the end. Not just that, but it might benefit Sony as well in a weird way um, by bringing more and more people into this VR talk, this, this kind of initiative that's happening right now. It's now gonna be in the news. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people keep saying that like Project Morpheus is not gonna do well because people really don't care about that much about VR. People are gonna start caring about VR with Facebook acquiring Oculus for two billion dollars. That shows that this is current. This is this is the new big thing. So it, it kind of brings everyone into this uh, this mindset, this hive mind. You know, uh, could be a, could be a good thing for everyone actually. Oh yeah, and I'm totally looking forward to that. By the way, though, whatever Project Morpheus turns into, I will do that. And uh, one final question before I let you guys go. Um, speaking of the whatever Project Morpheus turns into. How much money would you pay whenever they like actually put it out and there's games supporting it? Like, what's your what's your cap that you would pay top money? Okay, well, there's a bet going here, a slap bet between me and Mike. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike slaps really hard, so he's got a heavy, he's got a heavy hand. But uh, <laughs> but I am betting that it's gonna be 199 because I think if they're going to to break through into the mainstream space and really become the market leader for VR, they need to be at a price point that is right at that limit. Now, honestly, I think that, that even that is pushing it for a lot of people, but I think you'll get a lot of those hardcore gamers in there at 199. That's my I'm, Okay, well, officially I'm at 299, and for the you know integrity standpoint, I'm gonna stay at 299. I'm actually starting to think 249. Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking around. No, 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 no. no well, I, I'm gonna stay at the 299. So even if I am right, and it is 249. I still get to slap me in the face. Okay. But <laughs> the, 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 
just put this out there as well, that this is only if it's a standalone product. Because there's a lot of different factors that could affect this, such as, let's say it's bundled with PS4s, it's bundled with Move and the Eye. Because the thing is, it all works together. The Eye is absolutely needed in order to yeah. use Project Morpheus. And it seems like if you really want to take advantage of it, you need one Move controller and potentially even two Move controllers to really get into, into this world, immerse yourself in it. So uh, there's going to be a lot of different bundles and stuff like that that could affect pricing. And there might even be a PS4 bundle that could uh, come out next year after the PS4 drops in price and included and all that kind of stuff. Right, right. Yeah. Well, all right, man. Thanks for the uh, thanks for, uh, comments and everything, but uh, let me leave you guys with this real quick. Okay. <laughs> Dave's awesome. If you guys don't know, you can probably tell from his voice <laughs> that he has uh, a great voice. Yeah, he knows what he's talking about, and uh, the reason for that is that he does a podcast. Dave uh, does a podcast called Noble Metals Gamers Cast. Uh, I think he does it every Wednesday. Um, and he talks about all things gaming as well. Um, so check that out. He, he's been supporting us big time, and we want to support him as well. 